Thank you, Keith. Before our final song, I'd like us to pause and take a few moments to reflect upon the things that we have heard this morning. I've asked Sean if this week he can just put a picture on the screen um, and not any music or words so that we can really spend um, quiet time with God. Of course, it may be that it's not convenient for some of you because your house may be full of people and and uh, children running around. So for you then, just um, encourage them by telling them that God loves them and thinks that they're wonderful. And maybe you can just take a time out sometime later on today when it's more convenient. But um, for those of us who, who it's possible to do it now, um, then just take this moment to spend with God. It may be that you just want to give him thanks um, for his amazing love for you and what he's done in your life. Or it may be that you want to just share how you feel. You may be feeling particularly sad or hurt, lonely or anxious. There may have been people that have hurt you and that have not shown you love. Then just take this time to feel God's love and the assurance that he understands how you feel. He's been there. He knows what it's like to feel rejected and hurt and unloved. And maybe it would help if you just put your arms around yourself and imagine that they are God's arms holding you and just reassuring you that he's there and that he wants to make a difference and he wants for you to feel his love in your life. So before we do that, I'd just like to pray. Thank you, God, that your love isn't jealous or boastful. I thank you that it's not proud or rude or abusive. Thank you, God, that your love doesn't demand its own way, that it isn't angry or irritable. Thank you that your love doesn't keep a record of our wrongs. Because you are love and your love is patient, gentle and kind. Thank you that your love forgives and heals and restores. Thank you that your love never ends. Amen. And so we come to our final song this morning. And this is a, a great song written by Charles Wesley that's often sung at weddings. In fact, I recall it being sung at the wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton. And it's a recording taken from one of the prom praise services held at the Royal Albert Hall. The lyrics aren't on the screen. But if you know then, then I'm sure you'll sing along. Or maybe you'll just enjoy uh, feeling as if you're part of uh, that grand service there. And the uh, words are just so full of God's amazing love. And I particularly like the last verse that just reminds us that this earth isn't our final home, but that God is preparing a place for us and that one day we will be in eternity with him where we can just spend um, our time in worship and adoration 
of him. God bless you all.